Ever move your show file from a Grandma 2 full size to an MA2 light only to find that all of your sequences are on the set of 15 faders that don't exist on the light? We can fix that with surfaces. Press Setup and select Wing and Monitor Setup from the Console tab. The default settings for your console and wings is right protected, so we're going to click Add Surface. You can make your edits either from this window or in table mode. The second line is the new service that we can edit however we like. Since I'm using MA on PC, my first option is to configure the command wing and the next columns are for the USB fader wings. From the dropdown, I just pick which bank of executors I want to assign to which wing. On a console, your columns will be the options for your sections of onboard executors and the motorized fader wings. So if I was on an MA2 Lite, I would probably set this second surface to swap my onboard faders so I could access everything I stored on the full size. You can also configure what goes on your two external monitors. By default, they act as Windows 5 and 6, which makes sense if you're on a full size console. But if you're on a light or ultralight, you might want to set them to act as your missing onboard monitors. That last section of X and Y positions allows you to move your wings and monitors around in the software. I think this section is easier to do in graphic mode, but first let's click on our second surface and hit select surface. If I move these monitors around, when you later mouse left or right from your console to access these screens, the mouse will follow what you do in this setup. You can swap between surfaces using previous and next surface, or you can just do what I do and make macros to toggle you between the two. You only need one line in each macro, surface one or surface two.